Hi, everybody. Well, Wednesday it becomes official. Steve Nash will be a Laker, and the Phoenix Suns will get in return, you know, three or four sacks of magic beans. And LA's preeminent pro basketball franchise, stop right there, Clipper Nation, shows that one thing hasn't changed. The object is to win, not just to turn a profit or get a leg up on a real estate deal or any of the other pursuits that some owners put ahead of the product. In fact, I'm going out on a limb recording this when I am, because who knows? Between the time I speak these words and the time they get to you, Mitch Kupchak may have found a way to swipe Dwight Howard out from under the noses of the Brooklyn Nets. That last phrase sounds weird, by the way. But now that the Boroughs' name is back in the standings again, maybe some New Yorkers can let up on the O'Malley family. It has, after all, been 55 years. But I digress. I'm convinced that even with the risk of trading four draft picks for a 37-year-old point guard and giving him a three-year contract, the Lakers might not need to make another move. 37, by the way, makes him a young pup. Oh, okay, maybe not that young in hoops years. But Nash takes care of himself, and his numbers last year suggest he's still got game left. 12.5 points a game, 53% shooting, 89% from the line, 39 from the arc, and 10.7 assists. Bottom line, Nash makes other players better. Always has. And maybe his skills at the offensive end, as well as his good cop leadership to Kobe Bryant's bad cop, will further elevate Andrew Bynum's behavior and aid sufficiently in his growing up process. I know, that's a lot to ask. But Bynum, who does have two more championship rings than Howard, is also capable of being the defensive eraser that can overshadow whatever deficiencies Nash brings against the Russell Westbrooks of the league. One other point. When did the Lakers last have a first-round draft pick that made a significant contribution? They haven't had one, period, since 2007, and the immortal Javaris Crittenton. And I can count their impact first-rounders since the turn of the century on one hand. Sasha Vujicic, Bynum, and Jordan Farmar. That's it. I do think the ghost of Jack Kent Cooke is helping Jerry and Jim Buss run the Lakers. Cook, after all, never saw a draft choice he didn't think could be traded for a veteran. But if I'm choosing between a future Hall of Famer who can still help and four guys who could end up in the D-Leaguer in Europe, I'll roll those dice any day of the week. Oh, and there's this. Mike Brown is now officially on the clock. And if this team struggles out of the gate while searching for an offensive identity, Mike D'Antoni's waiting in the wings. For the Press Enterprise and PE.com, I'm Jim Alexander. Thanks for watching.